morning, you guys. It is Saturday, um, 3.23 a.m. Yeah, a.m. <laughs> so I'm actually off to, um, I was going to say Arizona. <laughs> I'm off to California, to L.A. I'm going to be going to IMAT. I am so excited. I'm going to be heading off um, with a couple of girlfriends. Um, and our flight leaves at 5.20? 5.20 or 5.30. So my ass was up since like 2 a.m. I know. Freaking crazy. 2 a.m. And I literally went to bed like around 10.30. And I'm so tired. Like my eyes feel heavy. And <laughs> they feel like they're really red. But anyways. Um, I had to get ready because as soon as we get there. We have to drop off our maletas. And then we're heading off to Pasadena. I think that's where... IMATS is at so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me so you guys can definitely see IMATS. It's my first time there I'm so excited um, This was actually my husband's gift um, to me um, for Christmas um, so he planned all this he got in contact with my girlfriends and He made it happen. <laughs> I was so surprised because he knows that I've always wanted to go to IMATS um, And so thank you, honey if you're watching this um, But yeah, I am so excited to go all right, guys, I'm going to go and let you go, and I'm going to go ahead and finish my shit, and then I'll see you guys in Portland. Love you. <laughs> Are you excited, Ani? Yeah. ¿Qué vas a comprar? No sé nada. Me quiero comprar una sola cosa. ¿Una sola cosa? <laughs> no. No es posible. No en IMAX. ¿Y tú? Yo voy por tres cosas. ¿Tres cosas? ¿Y tú, Santi? Ay, ay, ay. A ver qué se me... Qué se me pega. Yes. Ya llegamos chicas, ¿verdad? Welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> so sí. This is all you need Be your everything And yeah, I'll be your everything Still too soon to feel Please just say it's real More than just a thrill Not just in it for the thrill I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it
A ver, ¿qué compras es así? Porque la que no iba a gastar. No, la que viene a gastar en México. Y, y, sí, un mes en México. Que venía a gastar. Mira. Ahora, ¿sí? Imagínate si no hubiera ido a México. No, Ceci. Se lleva todo el IMAX. Hey guys, so we are at the Bird Box house. This is so cool. Aquí era. Aquí es donde se, se desmayaban. <laughs> o oh, estaban aquí tirados. Corren. Very cool, guys. It's the Bird Box house. Pretty awesome. <laughs> ya. <laughs> Ahora <laughs> caite. Con esto te contraté. Como ahí te caíste. Voy a ser tu, voy a ser tu agente. Yo como no he visto la, la Pero película. Como ahí contara. ¿Qué ¿Ah? puede pasar? Mira, ya la desgreñó el negro. Desgreñada. Tengo miedo. La desgreñó el negro. Tengo miedo, Ani, ¿eh? No les va a pasar nada que no les hayan hecho ya. Pasen, pasen. Feliz Navidad. Ah, ¡Ay! ¡Oh! ¡Para dormir! Vamos a tener una pijama para el ¿Quién se casa? ¿Te casas? ¡No! Hi guys, we're off to IMATS now to go see Makeup by Mario! grab some breakfast right now and then we're gonna head off to the convention center and hopefully we are able to get it signed I guess it's only gonna be there for an hour so I hope there's not I hope there's not a lot of people so we can get it signed and I'm so excited I've always wanted to meet Mario he's like one of my inspirations so I just hope that I get to have my magazine signed get to take a picture with him I hope um, so pray for me I love you guys I'll see you guys at IMAX again <laughs> There's Mario, you guys. It's so exciting to see him. Like, it's so crazy because you would always see him, like, on Instagram or with Kim, and he's, like, so flawless. I'm wondering why all you guys are here today. I'm just wondering what that could possibly be about. We are thrilled to have Mario with us today. He has a career spanning more than 18 years with a fan base of just a few folks, a few million actually. And he is one of the most sought after makeup artists today. He's renowned for creating flawless faces, and you've seen his work on publications such as Harper's Bazaar, Elle, Glamour, Vogue 17, and that prestigious publication, Makeup Artist Magazine. You've seen his clients, Kim Kardashian West, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, Demi Lovato, Sierra, Ariana Grande, Tyra Banks, and on and on. He's just done so many, so many great, great faces. Will you please give a big eye mask welcome to Mario? <laughs> Thank you guys. How are you? Woo! Thanks for coming. I didn't think that a lot of people were going to show up, so thanks for coming. <laughs> my dad um, told me he wasn't going to pay for my college when I finished high school and I wanted to go to college. And so 
I guess just to kind of be an ass, um, I was like, well, you know, F you, I'm not going to college then, and I'm going to go to the city, I'm going to find a job. So I went to Manhattan, because I lived in the Bronx, and I walked into a Sephora, and I was with my mom, I was very sheltered, I was 17 years old, and I just kind of had this like feeling, it was like an epiphany when I walked into Sephora, and I was like, this is where I want to work. Um, anyway, they didn't, never called me back. It won't tell me a long story short. I contacted the head of Sephora in France, um, and I got her number from the library because I didn't even have a, I didn't even have a laptop at that time. And um, she had me come in when she came to New York. I got the job at Sephora and as a very good consultant. And on the first day of work, um, women would come up to me and ask me to help them with the makeup, and I just did. And I fell in love with it, um, became obsessed with it from that day on, and decided on that very day that that was going to be my career. Um, with Kim in particular, for me, it's sort of like when I first met her, it wasn't like that because she wasn't she wasn't really that famous when I met her. So I saw it happening little by little by little, you know, the progression. Um, and so I kind of just went along with her. And so for for me with her, I'm just sort of kind of really used to it. Um, with newer clients, like pop stars and things that are extremely famous or that have been famous since they're young, it's a totally different world. Um, you know, it's, it's not easy. It's just, you know, you can't say much about what happens on set, so, but also like, you know, even though I've been with Kim now almost 11 years and we're almost like, we're like brother and sister, right? We fight all the time, we, you know, we <laughs> bicker, we laugh, you know, she knows all my secrets, I know all her secrets. But I still treat her with a level of respect. I never cross a certain, like there's a boundary that I never cross because she still is my client. And so no matter how close we get, or no matter how, you know, how long to this relationship that we are, there's still, you know, boundaries that I never cross um, and that I always treat with respect. And I think that she knows that. I think that she really respects that about me as well. Um, and so, you know, that's really important to me because it is still business. Like I still don't, I'm not the type to be like, oh, you know, I'll do your makeup for free. Like, you know, like a lot of makeup artists would be like, oh, I'll do your makeup for free. You know, I'm not, I'm not that makeup artist. If I'm more you have to pay me. You know, and I remember back in the days, like she would ask me, oh, why don't you just come live with me? Because I used to live in New York. She's like, I, I have an extra room. Come stay here. Like, I, I refuse because I'm like, once I do that, it crosses that line of client and you know, and makeup artist. So I'm very cautious with that, and I think it's really important you know, as a makeup artist. Awesome. So for an event where it's an award show where they're going to walk the red carpet and be a presenter or uh, actually a nomination, you probably have a few different points within that journey in which to do that. You know, from, from the limo to the arrive, then it's backstage and then you get another chance again or are they just gone the whole time? Well, some, sometimes you, you don't go with them at all because they, you know, there's no time where they don't allow it. Uh, but if you are a certain caliber of celebrity, like a certain level of fame, you can take your grand teams with you. Um, and some people do, and we, we do go sometimes. Um, I hate when we do that though, because like, I love, uh, I always say I love a doing go. A doing go means, you know, when you just do the makeup and leave, that's my favorite thing. So like, when we have to go, I'm like, oh, it's so annoying. Um, my, makeup also, my, makeup also, my makeup lasts really, really long. Like, you, you know, my clients love that about my makeup. Like, they know that when I do their makeup, it's going to be there when they get home at night at 2 in the morning and stop moving. Um, and so, but there are times that we go, and right before they hit the red carpet, we'll touch up, or if they're going to be presenting, we'll be backstage, we'll do a quick touch up. But for me, it's more like I'm just thinking it because nothing really moves. <laughs> Have you ever done, like, what you got recommended and you were able to go on a job because somebody wasn't available? Have you ever, have you ever do that for your assistants? Um, no, not yet. Um, I have, like, for other assistants in the past. Um, my clients are sort of weird like that. Like, they... So, okay, so my I'll tell you what happened recently. My assistant's been with me for, like, a year and six or seven months. Um, I think it was, oh, we were doing a wedding in Saudi Arabia, uh, a royal wedding in Saudi Arabia, one of the princesses there, and I had to do like three of them. And so I told my assistant, I turned around, I said, this is a perfect opportunity, you know, I've earned her trust for me to have her do the lashes. I've never, I've never had her trust anyone's face other than just like put moisturizer on and put the mask on or anything like that. And she looked at me, she goes, really? I was like, yeah, I was like, put the lashes on. And so I tested that, tested her out there. She did the lashes on, on all three princesses. Uh, she did a really nice job. And then we went to LA right after, and I was doing Kim. And so it came time to do the lashes, and I said, um, I, I didn't ask him, I just said, I said, uh, you know, I said, Dominique's gonna do your lashes. And Dominique was like, like literally, she started shaking. Aww. 
because I didn't want her or anything, and she just didn't expect, um, she knows, you know, she just knows how Kim is, Kim does you know, if Kim hires me, she wants me, not my assistant. And so, she started shaking. And so she's like, she's like, I'm so sorry I'm shaking because I drank coffee and I can't do this. And I, and I looked at her and Kim knew that, you know, she was nervous. And Kim was like, oh, she's like, you don't have to be nervous. She's like, who cares? And, you know, Kim is really good at making people not feel uncomfortable. She doesn't want anyone around her to be uncomfortable. So she immediately made her feel comfortable because, like, joking with her. And then my assistant did it. And so now every time we do Kim, she does the lashes. And, you know, I'll start probably, my next thing will be, like, you know, do the brows or do the lips. And I can't wait to get to that point because then I don't have to do the work. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I hate doing lashes, like that's my thing. Everyone that comes to my classes knows I have like big fingers and I just hate doing individual lashes. It's like it's such a girly thing for me, I don't I don't like doing it. Um, and so like now that she does it, it's just like it's been life changing. So, you know, little by little, you know, she's gonna start doing more and more and more and you know, hopefully it'll get to the point where maybe some of my smaller clients, when I'm not available, I can send her. <laughs> you guys give it up for my Still too soon to feel Please just say it's real More than just a thrill Not just in it for the thrill I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to time ¿Cómo te pareció, chicas? A ver, a Mario oh, wow. Me encantó Bueno, lo que vi Lo que vi Oh, yeah, you relate ¿Tú, Ani? Pues sí, me gustó mucho Me, me gustó mucho cómo habló Todas lo, todo lo, las preguntas que hubo estuvieron súper bien Los tips, ¿verdad? Que nada más Sí, muy oh, bien, sí. bien. Los chefs de su carrera, I was like, wow. ¿Y tú muy sabes? inspirador. ¿Verdad que sí? Muy motivante. Mm. Muy motivante para Muy nosotros. business. O sea, de aquí a 30 años, este, vamos a hacer otro. Ah, sí, sí. <laughs> no, you guys, you did a really good job. Like, I was... Well, you guys know me. I'm like a huge fan. Huge, huge fan. If you guys go on my Facebook, I have Mario as my back screen thingy. I was so excited. He was so sweet, though. Me cayó muy bien, and... You guys know that I'm obsessed with him and I just had the time of my life. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up Fashion Nova really quick and get some food and then we're going home. But I had a blast and I'll see you guys in a little bit. So after Fashion Nova, we all went home and that's pretty much it for the vlog today, you guys. Sorry, I wanted to add more of Mario's interview, but this video will be way too long. Um, I'm gonna be doing a haul, what I got at IMATS coming up really soon, so stay tuned for that and I'll let you guys know my experience and everything that happened that day but i love you guys so much please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel um and be a part of the honey family and also hit the notification bell so you are notified when i do upload i love you guys so much and see you all in my next one bye